Hey, 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 it's a good day. It's Teacher Dell, and I am back with a new lesson under the Disaster Risk Reduction Management course. In our last video, I have asked you to classify different kinds of hazards. So we have the following ground shaking, tornado, landslide, flood, indoor fire, lava flow, industrial pollution, typhoon, forest fire, storm surge, tsunami, extreme rainfall. Now later on we will get to know how to classify the following in different kinds of or types of hazards. But I know that you already have some of you already have prepared your classification. So let's see if it jives with our lessons classifications. So our lesson for today are the types of hazards and we have two types of hazards. Those are natural hazard and man-made hazard. Under natural hazard, we have biological hazard, geological hazard, hydrometeorological hazard. Now first let us discuss natural hazards. So natural hazard is a naturally occurring physical phenomenon caused either by rapid or slow onset events. Now from the word itself, it is natural. So for example, we have thunderstorms, forest fires, volcanic eruptions or typhoons and a lot, lot more. So under natural hazards, we have first one, the biological hazard. So this is a process or phenomenon of organic origin or conveyed by biological vectors or agents, including exposure to pathogenic microorganisms, toxins, and bioactive substances. Now, biological hazards include outbreaks of epidemic diseases, plant or animal contagion, insect or other animal plagues and infestations. Now, you can see that we have the examples Ebola, bird flu, or for example, in some of our animals like rabies. Now, let us proceed to geological hazard. When we say geological hazard, we have the word geo, which pertains to earth or in the land itself. There you go. Geological hazards include internal earth processes such as earthquakes, volcanic activity, emissions, and related geophysical processes such as mass movements, landslides, rock slides, surface collapses, and debris or mud flows. Now, the thing that we have to remember is geological, it happens on earth, internal, and surface. Everything happens in our land. Okay, and we go to the next hazard, the hydrometeorological hazard. So hydro plus meteor. Hydro is water, meteorological or meteoro from the sky. So this is a process or a phenomenon of atmospheric, hydrological, or oceanographic nature. For example, we have rain it's from the sky, and it's made of water. We also have snow, and of course, it doesn't only hydrometeorological hazard does not only deal with anything that goes with water, but as well as absence of water due to the extreme heat from the sky we have the drought and of course too much rain leads to flooding let's proceed to man-made hazard so a hazard this is a hazard originating from technological or industrial conditions including accidents dangerous procedures infrastructure failures or specific human activities now as self-explanatory as it is, man-made, anything, any danger that's caused by human. Now, for example, structural failure. Now, could, this could be a failure of an engineer or an architect. 
or maybe not because of the engineer or the architect but because of you know the contractors the supplies of materials that was used and maybe the plan was not really followed so it's still a man-made hazard we also have the accidents uh, due to maybe lack of sleep or too much liquor in our brain we cause accidents on the road so these are hazards that are caused by man so man themselves okay we have another one oil and chemical spill forest fire industrial pollution and we also have the technological hazard this includes industrial pollution nuclear radiation toxic waste dam failures transport accidents just like what i've said before factory explosions fires and chemical spills technological hazards also may arise directly as a result of the impacts of a natural hazard event okay so do you have any questions let's go back for a while so we have this cost at two types of hazards under that are natural hazard and man-made hazard below natural hazard we have the biological geological and hydrometeorological so bio okay so let's go with bio it deals with epidemics micro it deals with organic origin agents substances bioactive substances and examples are ebola bird flu rabies and we have geo geological hazard which commonly happens on our land or earth internal and external process hydro comes from water or the sky lack of water or too much water just like that and of course man-made hazard hazards that are caused by human themselves so let's go back to our classification of hazards now we have ground shaking so ground shaking basically happens on land so this is a natural hazard under geo geological hazard we have tornado this is natural hydrometeorological landslide hydrometeorological I mean, excuse me, <laughs> hydrometeorological hazard, and it can be as well classified as a geological hazard because this happens on land. And landslide happens because of too much water or rainfall. We have flood, hydrometeorological, and indoor fire is considered as man made. Geo for lava flow, industrial pollution, this is man made. Typhoon, guess what? This hydrometeorological forest fire, mm -hmm. hydrometeorological, and can also be man made. We have the storm surge as hydrometeorological, tsunami, hydrometeorological, and also can be classified as geo. So, why is that? Why is tsunami also considered as geo? So basically, we know that earthquakes, after earthquakes, there's always a tsunami. So because of the movements of the earth, it causes tsunami. And the last one, extreme rainfall. Of course, this is a natural hazard and it's hydro meteorological hazard. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Teacher Dove. It's a good day. Bye.